Hi friends, let us see one more interesting thing about magic squares. Already we know about 3 by 3 magic squares and 5 by 5 and all other magic squares. And this time let us see another unique property of this magic squares. Okay, so uh, what I do is uh, uh, if I shift the numbers, what happens in the magic square? Uh, friends, already you know how to construct this uh, 3 by 3 magic squares. Let us say for example, I want to fill numbers from 1 to 9 in this 3 by 3 magic square to get a sum of 15. And we already know in one direction I move, let us say I write my first number here and always I move in this direction, correct? So the two comes out and immediately I bring the transpose this two down and again I put it here, three comes here and this three I transpose it to this side. Okay, again four I cannot write, so four I write it down. Again I move in the same direction, five, okay, and uh, same direction, 6 and uh, 7, I write it down. We know this. Okay. And uh, 8, I write it in the same direction. Okay. And 9, of course, I write it in the same direction. Okay. And I transpose it down. Right. So this is what we have learned. Friends, if you have not yet understood how to do this, then uh, please watch my earlier video on 3 by 3 magic square and the description I have given in the uh, sorry, the link I have given in the description below. Okay. Now you see, always I am moving my hand in this direction. So this magic square, I got it. Now let us say I change this. This one, instead of here, if I shift it here and move the direction, what happens? Let us say I keep one here. Then I always start moving in this direction. Okay. See, the two comes here out. And to the moment it comes out, I transpose it. Now again, friends, I move in the same direction like this. Okay. So... 3 is here and immediately transpose this 3 up, right? And 4 I cannot write here because 1 blocks my way. So 4 I write it in this square and again I move in the same direction, 5, okay? And same direction, 6 and 7 friends I cannot write it here. So I move in the same direction and write it here. Again 8, see I move in the same direction like this and 8 transpose it here and 9 in the same direction and comes here. Right, friends? Let's say, for example, if I take this 1 instead of here, if I take here and start moving in this direction, okay, in a different direction altogether. See, 1, I take it here. And then, uh, friends, I move my hand in this direction now. Always I move my hand like this. So, 2 comes out and I transpose it. Again, see, 2 and 2, I move in this direction. So, it is 3. I transpose it this side. 4, I cannot write here. So, the 4... I write it here and then friends, you know, I move in the same direction. This is 5 and same direction. I move my hand. I get my 6 and friends, I cannot write it here. So 7, I write it here. Again, I move in the same direction like this and uh, 8 comes out. So I transpose it. Again, friends, I move this 8 in the same direction and 9, I write it up. That's all. Okay, see, if I change the direction, and the numbers also changes, and but the sum remains the same. Friends, now I moved in this direction, in three different directions. Can you just uh, try a magic square moving the numbers in this direction? Okay. Okay, please try and uh, get the same sum in all the rows, columns, and diagonals. Of course, here you know very well, I get 15 in all the rows, columns, and diagonals. Okay. Uh, friends, now try for a different direction and move the numbers in different directions and see the beauty of these magic squares. Uh, friends, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please subscribe now and uh, please share it with others so that it will be very helpful for them. Please press the like button if you like this video. Thank you so much for uh, watching. Thank you.